Hello, hello everyone. So today is day 19. We're in the home stretch here for 21 days of moving towards inner peace and I'm gonna read out of the book. It's super windy and cold here today. It's like a Winnie the Pooh kind of day. So December 10th. You are the universe expressing itself as a human for a little while. Eckhart Tolle. How interesting. This might help me to unhook from the need to find my purpose to live my dreams. I meant if I meant to live in a way that's fulfilling for me. The difference is when I think I have to know best or figure it all out, I can get stuck in the ego's agenda. What if I can consider that I can be used for the highest? Oprah often said that her prayer is use me for the highest. If I'm the universe expressing itself as a human for a while, what if this is the perfect prayer or intention to have each day? To allow the universe to use me for the highest good. In this way, I need not figure out what my purpose is or how to live my dreams. Instead, I'm allowing myself to be a vehicle that the universe uses. And what if the universe shows me how and allows the, me to flow, feel the flow of life intended for me? Thought for the day, what if I need not figure this all out? It's That is such a great reminder. In the idea of like, what's my life purpose? What's my life purpose? Hey, Haiti, um, what's my life purpose? I've got to figure it out. And if you think about it, when you're feeling that way, that's, that's part of the, I call it the bully in the brain, the ego going, you got to figure out your life purpose. Because anytime you feel bad and feel stress about something, that's not the inner voice. That's that's not it. It's it's the bully in the brain. It's the highly ego-based culture that's telling you you've got to know your purpose. You can't let life, let life pass you by. So, what if you did consider that each day you wake up and use me today for the highest? Whatever you believe is out there. You. What if I could be used for the highest? Show me how to be used for the highest. It can be your authentic self the wiser part of you. And it doesn't matter what your job is then, what you're doing. If you're touching people's lives in some way that you're being guided to do, then you kind of let go of the idea of gotta figure out what my purpose is. The idea of needing to find our purpose in life is a construct of an ego-based culture. And you know it because of how you feel. And when you feel like, oh, I'm not, like life's passing me by and I'm not doing my purpose. That's not the way we're intended to live. That's stress. It's, and this is why I say it's a detoxification process to unhook from an ego-based culture. So let's tap, karate chop. Even though I put pressure on myself, I think I have to find what my purpose is. <laughs> and if I'm not living my purpose, I'm missing the boat. I choose to acknowledge this truth right now. Even though it feels like pressure to tell myself, I've got to figure out what my purpose is. I deeply and profoundly accept myself anyway now. Even though I can put a lot of pressure on myself around finding my purpose. What if I could see this differently? Even just a little bit now. I've got to figure out what my purpose is. But that just feels like pressure. And what if the truth is If I'm feeling pressure about this, that's a construct of the ego and this culture that I live in. What if I can unhook from the idea that I have to figure out my purpose? And what if instead I could just ask 
to be used for the highest. Use me. Use me today for the highest good. Open me up to what that looks and feels like. Use me for the highest good. What a concept. What a different way to see this. So instead of pressure it, pressurizing myself about figuring out and finding my purpose, I ask to be used for the highest good. And what if that makes a big difference? And I start to notice I feel better. I feel less pressurized. Maybe I notice synchronicities. How things open up for me. And maybe I get evidence in what appears to be the mundane of the flow moving through me. I kind of like that idea a lot. That whatever I've been taught to believe is mundane, isn't at all. In fact, I bet I could get a lot of evidence there. What it feels like and looks like to be in the flow. And what if I could be open to that? Even just 1% right now. So take a breath. Um, it was so, for me, so great to wake up to that idea of like this whole thing about finding your purpose. And it's just pressure and it feels bad. It's like, what's going on? And it's like, no, I love that. Use me. I can't tell you how often I see in the mundane and I catch it more and more like, wow, there's the flow. There's the synchronicities. But our, our ego-based culture once loves the superstars, wants the big, bright, shining stars of light, instead of like, wow, there's some flow there. So, Haiti, great to see you here live, and thanks for being here with me, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for day 20. Bye for now.